we're going to look at hyperbolas um, from your review. So this one is giving us the equation and it's, it asks us to find these things on it. All right, so uh, first of all, we can easily find the center because this is just x squared y squared. So our center is 0, 0. It would be x minus h, y minus k if it was not 0, 0. All right, that's the first one. Uh, the transverse axis. So we need, this is the major axis. They call it transverse axis in hyperbolas. Um, we need to know if it's horizontal or vertical before we say that. So let's go ahead and pick off our pieces. Uh, A will be the square root of 25, which is 5. B is the square root of 121, which is 11. Uh, to find C, uh, we will do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we can go ahead and do that. 25 plus 121 equals c squared and that will just be add them up so 146 equals c squared and c will be the square root of 146 i'm not going to try to simplify that i'll just leave it there for right now all right um to know whether it is vertical or horizontal with hyperbolas you care about which one is positive the x squared is positive, so it is horizontal. So the x axis is the transverse axis. Right, for the vertices, since it's horizontal, we will use the A, and I had to uh, use a different scale here because it's going to get, um, the B is really tall. All right, so I use 2, uh, I want to go out 5 from 0, 0. So 2, 4, so I'm going to have to be right in here. All right, and then I'll go to the left, 2, 4, and about halfway. Should be halfway. I'm guessing there. All right. Um, those are my vertices. I didn't really have to draw it um, to tell them. And the ones that are on your transverse axis are the ones that are called uh, vertices. So let's go ahead and just write them. All right. So since it started at 0, 0, this negative 5, 0. And 5, 0 are your vertices. All right, and we want the foci. Uh, the foci are going to be C, the difference of C from 0, uh, and it is square root of 146. Uh, square root of 144 is 12, so it's a tiny bit more than 12. So let's see. Put a color on here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, tiny bit more. Okay, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, tiny bit more. All right, and uh, they are going to be on the outside of what we're drawing with uh, when we make the curves there. All right, um, to list them, to answer this, uh, it will be, they're going to go in the x-coordinate, so it's 0 plus or minus the square root of 146. Uh, so 0 plus it is just going to give you um, square root of 146, so negative square root of 146, 0, and positive square root of 146, 0. These are the foci. 
And the other thing it asked for is the asymptotes. We could actually even tell the asymptotes here. And these are going to be y equals plus or minus. It's b over a, 11 over 5x, right? And so those are going to give us the diagonals. Um, let's go ahead and draw um, what we can to help us draw the hyperbola. The b, let's see, let's switch back to red. Uh, b is your vertical distance from the center, so it is 11. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, halfway in between. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, halfway in between. Sorry. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Have to not push down hard. Okay. So I think we've answered all the questions. Let's go ahead and try to draw it. Um, you're going to make a box with the vertices and these endpoints that are on the other axis. This is not really a part of the graph. This is to help you draw the graph. Right, and uh, we will draw the, um, the diagonals there through the corners. These are your asymptotes. All right, and then the hyperbola itself, let's see if I can do a different color. Uh, it is going to use the vertex here, and it's going to go toward the asymptotes, right? And it's also on this end. It's both of those for the picture. So those black pieces are the hyperbola. And notice that the foci are out there inside that, but they're on the outside edge of your graph. All right, next we're going to look at problem uh, 99. And for this one, they ask us to find the equation of the hyperbola, uh, which is described. So they tell us the center, uh, the foci, and um, the vertex. That should be a B. X, okay, um, and they really just gave us a focus, not the foci. Um, so I'm going to put these on the graph. One thing we need to know is, is it horizontal or vertical? Because in our formula for the equation, um, if it's horizontal, the x squared will be positive. If it's vertical, the y squared will be positive. Um, also, this one is going to be an x minus h um, and a y minus k because the center is not 0, 0. All right, so let's put these on here. And I'll use a scale of 1 this time. I think I can do that. So 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And over 2. About right there. Light touch. Okay. All right. Um, the vertex is a one six. So this is a vertex. This is the center. And then the one of the foci is negative five six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, five, negative five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's going to go up and line up with these. And that tells you that it is horizontal, right? Because the center and the vertex and uh, this focus, so the other focus would be on the other side of the center. 
So these are all lined up horizontally. So it is going to be a horizontal hyperbola. We needed that piece of information. So our formula is going to be x minus h squared over a squared uh, minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So let's fill in what we know. Uh, we know the center 2, 6, and so it's going to be x minus 2 squared and uh, y minus 6 squared right and then so we need to know uh, a and b right a we know a is your horizontal distance from the center to a vertex and so it is one unit i'm going to try black here this distance is one unit this is a the length the horizontal length from the center to the vertex is A. We also have C here. So we have A equals 1. We have C is the distance from the center to a focus. And so this distance is, uh, you've got 2 here, and this was negative 5. So this distance is going to be 7. So C is going to be a uh, 7, right? The B, B we don't know, and so you have to use your formula for it. Um, just stay black. And this one, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? So my A is 1, and you square it, and it's still 1. We don't know B squared. And c squared, 7 squared is 49. So 49 minus 1 will give us 48. So b squared equals 48. B, b squared is actually what we want. b, the length of b is square root of 48. But in your equation, you use a squared and b squared. So what we need here is this one is 1. 1 squared is still 1. And this one is going to be... 48. Um, if you're doing this in the software, they don't like the one under here, but it kind of makes it fit back to the pattern. I like it uh, myself. Um, so they will write this without the one, but it helped for our understanding to have it. And I don't need to draw the rest of it. I just needed from the drawing to know is it horizontal or vertical, how did it line up? And that told me um, which one of these would get the plus. We'll look at one more problem. And this one asks us to graph. Um, so they're giving us the equation. Uh, and we'll pick some information off of that before we go to the graph. Um, First of all, we want to know, is this vertical or horizontal? Um, this one is going to be vertical because the y squared is positive. All right, maybe I'll write that here. All right, so we know it's going up and down. We can pick off the center. Now, your form is uh, x minus... And this is plus, so this is really x minus a negative 1. All right, so we're going to have negative 1, negative 1 for the center. All right, we can also pick off our a and our b. a is going to be the square root of 16, which is 4. And b is under the y. It is the square root of 9, which is 3. Uh, they didn't say we had to put the foci on there, but we will uh, go ahead and find them, and we can put them. All right. Um, 
So C, we'll have to use the formula. We can't pick it off from here. And it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And so A squared we know is 16. B squared is 9 equals C squared. Uh, 9 and 6 is 15. This is 25, so this is nice, equals C squared. And C is the square root of 25, which is 5. All right? So let's put our, put our information on that we know. We'll use red for that. So first, our center. So we'll have to be a little careful uh, because we're not at 0, 0. All right, there's our center. Uh, and... It is a vertical one, so it's going to go up and down. All right. Uh, a is the horizontal distance from the center. So we can go over um, one, two, three, four, and the other way. One, two, three, four. Right. B is the vertical distance from the center. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. And that will be enough to make our box. Remember, the box is just to help you draw it. It is not part of the graph. But it's a rectangle. Through... Um, the vertices and the end points. So this time the vertices are um, these two points. All right, um, we'll put on the asymptotes. And so they are gonna go through the center and through the center of the box. All right, so they are also not really part of the graph. It's what the um, hyperbola is going to go toward. And now we'll draw the hyperbola. So this is a vertical one. It's going to start at this vertex and go toward the asymptote. And this vertex and go toward the asymptote, all right? Uh, they didn't say for us to put the foci on there, but we can uh, from the center, and they will be on this vertical diagonal. That is your transverse uh, axis here. Sorry, not a diagonal axis, okay? So we want to go up five spaces, from negative one. So that's going to get to four. One, two, three, four, five. So there is a focus. And then go down. One, two, three, four, five. And there is the other focus.